So you're getting yourself a new fancy drone this 2020 holiday season and you're trying to find out what type of SD card to buy for one of those things so you get the best video quality and recording rate out of it. Today I'm going to take a minute or two to just talk about the different things you should know when looking for an SD card for your fancy new 4K drone. So when it comes to SD cards, there's a couple of things you want to take into consideration. Like one is the form factor, like big one or small one, the capacity, like how much data can you store on it, the writing speed, probably the most important one, and the brand. Well, spoiler alert, just go with SanDisk. Like if you know there's a good SanDisk deal out there, you can stop this video right away and go and buy that card. You're welcome. That's literally all you need to know by, by SanDisk, seriously. All right, let's talk about the form factor. Well, there's the big one and then there's the small one. Now, with the small ones, they are called micro SD cards versus the big ones are called SD cards. You might as well always go with a micro SD card because 95% of the time they come with an adapter. So you can always make a small card bigger and use it in a different camera that doesn't take micro SD cards. But most drones these days, at least DJI drones, they take the micro SD cards and you can always make the card bigger, but you can't make the big cards smaller. And then there's capacity. In my opinion, 128 gigs is the perfect size for two reasons. One, it's just enough capacity to go on a seven day vacation and fly every day for a little bit and have it last throughout the whole vacation. Well, unless you're the type of person that records every single second you're up in the air, then you probably want to get a backup card. And speaking of backup cards, they are so affordable these days that it is just easy to just have another one of those with you all the time. Now, 256 gigs, obviously, can store more, but A, you don't find as good of a deal on those ones, and B, you really wanna check your device before you go for one of those 256 gig cards, because not all drones or cameras for that matter support such large capacity cards, so keep that in mind. And then there's obviously 64 gigs, but based on my research, you don't really get a good deal on 64 gig cards. For example, you can see here, and the link is down below in the description, Best Buy has both of them on sale right now, but the 64 gig card costs $15 versus the 128 gig cards cost 20 bucks. So for 30% more, you get 100% more capacity, or in other words, for five bucks more, you get twice as much storage. So there's that 128 gigs, perfect spot right in the middle. By the way, if you find this useful so far, consider supporting the channel by clicking the little red button down below. I make new videos about all sorts of drone related stuff every single week, whether that's product reviews, tutorials, how to's, or just epic drone videos. So if you like this kind of stuff, click the subscribe button and the little bell icon because then YouTube is gonna tell you when I make a new video. All right, let's talk about writing speed. Writing speed is probably the most important factor to know about and the most complicated factor. Basically what you need to know is that they're classified in different speed classes. So sometimes you see a two, four, six, or a 10, 10 being the fastest, but that doesn't get you very far because that is from quite a while ago and that 10 basically only gets you buttery smooth 1080p footage. So if you have one of those nice fancy new DJI drones, for example, then they can all shoot 4K and even 4K at 60 frames per second. So you need something faster than that. Don't look for a 10. You wanna look for a, a little U and a three in there. And that stands for ultra high speed. So they come in two versions. They come with a U and a one and a U and a three. So you wanna go with the three because that's literally the fastest and that will get you 
4K footage recorded at even 120 frames per second. I don't know a drone or a camera that can do that, but um, U3 will be safe for a very, very long time. Then there's another number on there, which is A2, which usually is associated with the ultra high speed three. So sometimes you see an A A1, which means U1, and A2, which means U3. I know, it's very confusing. Point being, if you see a card that is maybe a little bit cheaper, but that has an A1, that's not the one you want because you may get the slow writing speed error and then your drone will just stop recording in the middle of a shot. So make sure that there's not an A1 there. So ideally just look for the U3. Again, U3, very important. I'm sorry, but then there's another number you can see on there and that's very often it's a V30 and that basically stands for video writing speed and the 30 stands for 30 megabits per second, which is again, as I mentioned before, which is enough to take 4K at 120 frames per second will be future proof for a very long time then there's also v60 and v90 which is like very high-end cards which us normal people really don't need and then there's brands i mentioned it before sandisk just go with sandisk um i had a few samsung's before i had a few knockoffs before i had plenty of Sand sandisk before i'm not saying sandisk is never gonna fail but they're gonna fail less often than all the other cards and i mean there's so much on the internet like if you googled or searched on amazon for best sd card for drones you'll see so much stuff and some of them may be cheaper but like by how much and seriously like look at all these different options like for some of these brands i've never heard of sandisk is one of the most reputable brands that are out there why go for anything else i mean seriously what are we trying to do save four dollars and risk losing all of our seven day vacation footage N no no don't do that don't do that buy a sandisk card be happy and look for a great deal bookmark this video i will put deals below throughout the whole 2020 holiday season season you're welcome you've seen it a minute ago best buy is having a great deal on the 128 gig sandisk with the u3 option remember u3 and i will continue to post great deals down below in the description or into the comments so make sure to subscribe to the channel bookmark this video and come back here every now and then and check for some great deals and thank you so much for watching and i will see you next week